Hi, this is Craig Forzani with another Don't Miss the Point of Business video. <clears throat> um, you know, the, the age-old question for business owners, how do I grow my business? Uh, you know, that's, the, that's like how to get the caramel in the caramel bar, uh, for those who remember that. I just dated myself. So here it is, and I talked about it in an earlier video, or another video. The profit loss statement is literally the heartbeat of the business, period. Uh, it tells you in a period of time the cost of, good, the, the cost of goods and expenses I invested. Um, am I making a profit? Am I getting a return on that investment? So if that's the case, the p and is the heartbeat. There's levers you can attach to that P&L, and those levers are numbers you track, KPIs. So the key is, you know, if you start small with just yourself as a business owner, and then as you grow with your team, you have to train yourself and your team. Every single decision they make during anything they're doing during their job, that decision leads to an activity, and that activity leads to a result. Train them on those decisions. Is that thing they're about to do, that decision they're about to make, does it have an ROI attached to it, a return on investment? Teach them how the P&L works. Teach them what return on investment means. Teach them that, you know, I'll give you an example. <clears throat> if you have someone in your company, whether it's yourself or somebody else, <clears throat> and they're in charge of buying or pricing their service, well, the decision they make drives everything on the P&L, meaning if you're buying a product and you're making a 40% gross margin on that product, and this is just an example, and your expenses in your company are 38% of revenue, then you just they just made a decision to buy something that you're gonna make a 2% net profit on. Well, that's not healthy, that, that doesn't work. So if they understand the formula and they understand return on investment, they understand how to calculate it, for all the numbers, all the levers they pull on that P&L in their department, then they'll always make the right decisions. And those decisions <clears throat> lead to more effective activities, which will lead to more profit. And that profit will allow you to reinvest cash into your business to grow without having to get outside investors and give up too much of the percentage of your company and ownership to grow. You know, that, that's, that's what people do when they come in with money. They come in not just with money, they come in with expertise and they help you grow your business. Well, imagine, <clears throat> If, if you knew how to do that on your own, then to grow, <clears throat> you can self-fund, or if you wanna grow faster than that, you can go borrow money at less of an expense, meaning you don't have to give up as much of your company to borrow money. You can actually borrow the money instead of giving up shares, potentially. So <clears throat> the key is envision your company as a profit and loss statement, <clears throat> envision Every number on that profit and loss statement has a lever attached to it, and that lever has a measurable number you measure, and uh, you know a KPI. Train your team how to pull those levers. Train your team what is ROI in their particular job, their department. What does that look like? You know, if if I spend this much on a schedule of staff, what does that equal in wages, and what is that as a percentage of revenue? Help them understand that it can only be a certain percent. Help them understand if they give somebody a raise, what does that lead to? How does it affect the P&L? What extra revenue do they need from that person, meaning either more efficiencies or higher sales, to make that worthwhile? Because you can't just say, yeah, let's just give that person a raise because they deserve it. Well, what if that doesn't lead to any more profitability? Then you got a problem. So teach them ROI, they'll make better decisions, you'll make more profit, and by you making more profit, you can reinvest in your company to grow, and if you go to borrow money and you're super profitable, you'll be able to borrow that money without, by giving less uh, shares up in your company.